As the class of 2023 graduates and summer vacation begins, the coaching staff is still hard at work with youth summer camps. I love it. I love to teach the fundamentals, teach them about the greatest game of football, greatest game ever made. And it teaches about life and adversity and, and everything that's involved in it. So it's, it's great to have these guys out here. That was probably one of the best younger groups I've ever had. I've been coaching for 30 years. So um, fired up. We've got another group coming right now. So let's get after it. I love being out here for these guys. You know, it's always great to get back to the community and for a kid that would you know, show up to this and uh, when he was younger and it's just really cool to be back here where you know, I sort of started out. Uh, you know, I just like to give back to like, kids because you know, I did this when I was a kid and I remember having good memories. You know, I met some of my teammates now here for the first time so it's just good to see these kids have those same opportunities and to be with my teammates and be able to do fun stuff with them outside of you know the hard practices, the running and all that, so that we could like really enjoy each other. Just seeing how the guys are just, how they're taking leadership over these kids, it's a good thing to see and it really closens the bonds between people too. I mean, working out here with all your friends and stuff and really just getting the opportunity to lead. Just be that positive influence that they need. Um, it's a lot of fun just coming out here just yelling. We have an intense discipline and we have a high level of excellence here. It translates into every facet of life. And to be able to teach a, a young kid that, it, it can carry him, it can change his trajectory. So it's a lot of fun what we do and then we also know it has meaning and purpose as well. So it's awesome. You know, the, a lot of them got out for the cleats for kids we did for community service uh, last week with the Boys and Girls Club and then coming back out and doubling up. Uh, for the youth camp. It's good. It, it gives them um, perspective as well, uh, not only to give back, but also how hard it is to coach. Uh, and, to, and I think it makes them more coachable players because they remember their experience they might have with a fifth grader, sixth grader, seventh, eighth grader. He's always done everything he could for the community, whether it's turkey giveaways during Thanksgiving, whether it's the cleats for kids. It, it, it doesn't matter. If Justin can find a way to give back, I don't think he cares if we get any of those kids to come to Catholic Central. He just loves to give. He really is a true servant leader in everything we hope for in a, a graduate of Catholic Central, a coach at Catholic Central, and a mentor here at CC. He's done my camp, and uh, I think what he, he teaches these young men is how to take accountability, how to take responsibility, and hold, and hold themselves to a certain standard. And uh, whenever you have kids come through your program, you want them to leave with something. Right? And so I think. He's very inspirational when it comes to words and how he speaks and not only what he's saying, but he also stands behind what he's saying. One of the hardest working men in show business right now. It's just a testament to what he's been doing over the past two decades probably. We ask you to watch out for every young man on the field tonight, keep him safe physically, mentally, emotionally. Give us the strength to impact at the highest capability that we possibly have. In God's name we pray, Our Lady of Victory. Pray for us. Mary on the Pray for us. God is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I remember showing up here, uh, being clueless about football, not knowing much about life, and if it wasn't for Catholic Central, uh, you know, I, I don't know where I'd be today. Everything I pretty much learned, I learned from Coach Mack and CC, and I always wanted to help and uh, do whatever I can to help out CC. Excited to be out here. Uh, really looking forward to having the opportunity to share, you know, our love for the game with these youngsters. I am Herman Moore. I'm an NFL All Pro wide receiver. Used to be with the Detroit Lions, and now out here to hang out with my friend and my friends at CC. Uh, Justin Sasante has done an amazing job. He's been someone who's been extremely passionate, even from when I brought him to my camps. So when he asked me to come out and be a part of his camp, that's an easy that's an easy ask. I'm always excited to be here. I'm, I'm, it's great to see all the, the wonderful things that happens in the CC community, and um, I'm always glad to be a friend of that and a part of that family. Represent your family. That's the number important thing. Whenever you come out here, yeah, you guys have the shamrocks and you play for CC on your chest. But number one is 
You represent God and your family. All right, you always represent that. And the best way you can represent that is with integrity and hard work. You guys got it? Yes. You guys got it? Yes. Thank you for coming to camp today. We appreciate you. We appreciate the trust, parents. This is a different, special place. We pour energy into people. We don't talk about it. We act. We bring all the resource we have here at CC and we pour it into our young men because they are the future leaders. Uh, the energy we were able to bring having 150 kids out from all different areas, we want to create, uh, continue to create more diversity, kids coming from different areas, but experiencing Catholic Central. That, that's what we wanted out of this week. We wanted them to experience our high level staff. We wanted them to experience our players, our facilities. We wanted to make it sure it was a, a, a first class operation and experience, which I, I believe we did from the trophies, the shirts, the towels, the water bottles. I mean, we're going to go above and beyond. We're going to go the extra mile. We're going to cross T's and dot I's. That, that's our way. Shamrock strive. We don't survive. And I believe we really accomplished that in the camp this week. It was fun and we got it done and finished up. We should expect to win a state championship every single year. I don't even want to say, well, well, that ain't realistic. Why isn't it? You know, now I know, now I know that failures happen in, in, in pursuit of excellence, but we want to be nationally ranked. We, we want to be a top team in the country. We want people to look at Catholic Central and not only know us around the country, but around the world. That starts with, with our faith, that starts with our academics, our sports, our facilities, and all that's coming together. So uh, my expectation for this place is, is through the roof. One of the best things that Justin Sassante has been able to do in his short tenure as our head coach is engage former NFL players, high-level college players, to join the football staff here at Catholic Central. We have a diverse staff that, that ranges from guys from the city of Dearborn that played at Fortson, former U of M football players, guys that played at Oklahoma State, all over the place. So his goal was to put great men around our people and around our kids, and him being able to engage those guys from his network that he's built in his own life, that's exactly what we wanted. So he, these guys that Justin is bringing in as coaches, they already feel like they're part of the Catholic Central family. What has been my goal for the, the, the past six, seven months was to get that all organized in order, prepared, and then, and, then, and then implemented to the kids. And at the end of the day, the kids have to believe you. And the only way they're gonna believe you is if you're putting energy, time, and resource in yourself. So there's not many days I haven't been in this building. I mean, a day that I miss with these guys during their lifts and pushing and not just you know sit, sitting around, but, but being engaged. Can we build that bond through that tenacious burning desire and work? Our screws are starting to loosen up a little bit, meaning in, 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 we're starting to get a little wacky, which is good. Uh, we're starting to, to get really aggressive in the weight room. We're starting, our bodies are changing, our minds are changing, and you can tell the kids are having fun. So uh, the offseason is the most important part of, of, of training. Champions are made in the offseason for any sport, specifically football. Whatever you want to accomplish in the season, you're going to accomplish that offseason. And it really starts for us right after the season, December, January. We get in here, we assess the guys, we set some baseline, we set some expectations, and we get to work. And it's been about six or seven months of just a straight grind. The guys have bought in, they've had fun, they've achieved, they've, they've accomplished, they've, 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 they've come together. And it's just been a lot of fun, a lot of work, and you can see, you can feel it. This is something special brewing, and um, it's been, I've been blessed to be a part of it, we all have. Uh, just building the brotherhood between me and all the other guys, you know, coming in here every day, it's just a grind, you know, go, and then going into season, you're on the field, it's, I mean, it's the fourth quarter, late in the fourth quarter, overtime, you know that the guy next to you has been working all offseason. It's just like to see, like, go to battle with my team and know that we can match anyone in the state. We're building a brotherhood. Everybody working together is really big for us. Like, the strength is cool, but us bonding together is the biggest thing that I think we get out of this. I'm ready. Like, the whole team is ready. We're getting closer as we continue to work. We're bonding every day. The coaching staff is amazing. We've got, like, 50 billion coaches out here. 
and they're all here paying attention to detail. They know every guy's name. I mean, it's just really just a family. There's no ceiling. You know, there's no ceiling. I don't know where this will take us, but it's gonna, it's gonna take us where God wants it to be. As the school year begins, the anticipation for the Shamrocks' first game under Coach Sasante against Dearborn High School has reached an all-time high. We have a sense of urgency about ourselves, because we can, we have a purpose. What's our why? What's our why? Continue to ask yourself that every day. So, Let's have a great practice today. Got it? So. All right, let's get ready. Go, go, three, one, two, three, go! It goes to the field. What, what we're seeing now on the field, the kids are buying into what we're uh, what we're giving them, you know, and that's always important. And it's no pressure. I think is the ceiling is 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 set, so they know the bar is there, right? So they know where we got to get to. I know when we kick that ball off and we come out for that game, we're going to be ready because the kids understand this staff from top to bottom cares about them. They care about them on the field and even more about them off the field. So when you talk about pressure, I don't want our coaching staff to feel any pressure. I want them to have fun. I want them to fulfill their competitive edge and, and whatever needs that they have. And I want them to feel like they're loved and appreciated. All that pressure, that can come from the outside, but internally, they know that if they love the kids up and develop them, there is no pressure and the wins will come along with that family feel. As a coach, you're always looking to the next thing. You have to prepare, you have to be ready. Um, but, but I think everything that I had in mind before I even was offered the job, because I had to visualize it and manifest it, uh, it's, coming, it's coming to fruition. Uh, now, now it has to turn to success. And success is great relationships about people that care for each other. We stay in line with our values and, and we win. And we win big.